Hi, in this video I will be describing endoscopic excision of an anteroconal polyp. So this was a young patient with history of right sided nasal obstruction, discharge and facial pain on and off for the past 6 months. On diagnostic nasal endoscopy we could visualize a pale polypoidal mass involving the middle meatus and flow and the imaging also showed the same. So we came to a diagnosis of a right sided anteroconal polyp and this is the intraoperative video showing the nasal cavity without decongestion. We can see a small high septal deviation. After complete uh, decongestion, this is the nasal cavity. We can clearly see the bulla ethmoidalis behind the polypoidal tissue and the middle terminate along the medial aspect. We just puncture a small hole into the cystic part of the polyp to slightly decompress it so that we visualize the anatomical landmarks. That is the antral part of the polyp arising from the maxillary antrum. This is the part which connects the antral part to the nasal part. At the rear end it goes into the corner. So we have the antral part, the nasal part and the coronal part going behind into the posterior corner. So the first step is to make a wide middle meatal antrostomy. We start it by doing a retrograde ansonectomy. And the most important part of ansonectomy here is to identify the horizontal part that is the lower part of the ansonate. The main area of interest here is along the floor of the maxillary sinus. So the horizontal part of the ansonate process is identified and carefully dissected and removed off the surgical field to make clear area to work more on the floor of the maxillary sinus. Now the polyp is sectioned at the level of the nasal part and the nasal and the coronal part are excised and the antral part is left behind inside the maxillary antrum. And we can visualize it with a 70 degree scope and we can clearly identify the attachment of the polyp which is a broad based attachment along the floor and the antrolateral wall. So this is the site where the polyp has arisen from. So this has to be clearly dissected off otherwise we could end up with a recurrence. So this antral part is clearly excised and the remnant of the mucosa whatever is left out is rebrided using an angled blade. And this is the completion of the excision. This is the wide middle meatal antrostomy. Again visualizing it with a 70 degree scope we can clearly visualize the entire maxillary antrum and uh, it has been completely removed. We can clearly see the floor as well and that is the infraorbital nerve and that was where the polyp was attached and uh, after packing this is the nasopharynx. Thank you.